Alright y'all, welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Today I'm bringing you guys on updated four day of eating. I literally just rolled out of bed like two minutes ago. I know I look absolutely crazy right now. But uh, this is how I'll be looking in the morning, man. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an up-to-date kind of run through of what I've been eating as of recently because me and my kids decided that I need to go back up in body weight and I need to start bulking again. So RIP the physique, like it's gonna it's gonna suffer for a little bit, but I mean it's at the cost of having all my numbers come back for uh, powerlifting, you know. So as of recently, I've changed the way I've eaten in the sense where like I'm eating a lot more whole natural foods now and trying to eat a lot less like processed bullshit the way I used to eat last year in college because the way I ate last year like I was so fucking strong but it was so bad for me. I was just having like packs of ramen, Dr. Pete's every fucking day, fair life and it just like wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. So like now I'm trying to have like a more like whole approach you know. So like right now like I, I start my day every single day with these cinnamon swirl bagels from uh, just a grocery store. They're the Thomas brand and they're, they're really good too. Like they're not even protein bagels or anything but each one of them has like 50 grams of carbs and like 10 grams of protein. It's not bad. And then I like to put Nutella on each one of them. It's just, it's really good and I don't get sick of it. And I need to find a food that has a lot of calories and a lot of carbs that I don't get sick of. So this, when I put it on, has like probably like 10 grams of fat, 30 grams. I'm gonna send uh, Anthony like the more like detailed macro breakdown, kind of just free balling off the top of my mind right now. And then um, on top of that, I usually slice up a banana and put this on top of the bagel as well. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Like Anthony will show you what it looks like when it's done and all that. But it's really good. Like cinnamon bagel, Nutella, banana. Like you can't get sick of it. It's honestly the best thing ever. And then I also have some kind of like small fair life. I get these from Costco, they're like 30 grams a pop, and they're pretty cheap. You can get them from Wawa or like the grocery store, but you're gonna save a lot more money if you just buy it in bulk. And I'm trying to be more proactive with just like buying things in bulk that I know I can and just saving money. I have all these protein drinks up here that like, I can just save money and just pay less per. And shout out to 3D, they plug me for all the energy drinks. But these things have come a big lifesaver, no lie. Like, I can just have these and just slam them down two real quick right in a row, and it's a quick 60 grams. So yeah, I'm gonna put Nutella on this and then I'll show you guys what it looks like exactly once, once like everything's finished and all that. And then um, I'll talk a little bit about what I'm gonna be having for lunch and then what our days are gonna look like. finished it's really fucking good you guys have to trust me if you guys like literally go get this shit right here and then tell me how it is it, it's like perfect way to start your breakfast right? perfect way to start your day every single time like I swear to God if I really want sometimes I'll get like a zero calorie iced coffee just stuff from the store that like it's already like it's like in the thing and I'll just mix that up and that's good too but I mean I don't even need that it's like nothing nothing too too serious but then um so for lunch what we're gonna have is I cooked this all last night we actually cooked it yesterday morning, and it's just like six to eight ounces of chicken right here that I'm gonna have. I'll put the protein out uh, once I figure out how much it is. And then I actually just recently got a rice cooker, and I swear to God, any man who lives on their own, I'm telling you guys right now, you guys need a rice cooker and you guys need an air fryer. Obviously a toaster too, but like those are the two things that a lot of people don't have that you need. Having a rice cooker makes it so goddamn easy to just Get a big ass bag of rice from the H Mart or wherever like you can get a big ass bag of rice and then you just like wash it out of the sink, get all the starch out of there and it goes in there and then once you cook it, it's like, I don't know how many cups of cooked rice you get up there, maybe like five or six, but um, it's like really the best thing ever and it makes meal prep so easy. I know I was eating the microwavable HEB rices for like a long ass time, but you get tired of them eventually just because they're like flavored and like, I don't know, like I just want something just neutral that you know kind of like resets my taste palette you know I'm not, it's not like I'm not getting sick of any kind of like lime or spice or whatever you know so just neutral regular white rice 16 ounces of chicken and that's what my second meal is gonna be before my workout we're gonna eat this at HQ in a little bit but yeah I mean it's just nothing crazy it's just kind of taking the time to be proactive about 
making your meals ahead of time. I don't know if you guys know, but uh, throughout college and then throughout like my past, I've been like a very heavy sleeper and like, I always like to sleep in. But as of recently, ever since the start of the new year, I'm trying to wake up at like 8, 8.30, 9 o'clock max, so then I can wake up, have my breakfast, and I like to create like, own, my own little routine for myself. I'll wake up, come out here, cook my meals for the day, whether that be my two lunches or just one lunch, and then I, after that, I'll make my breakfast, eat that, and then I'm set for the day. It's And then it's like 9.15, 9.30, and then I have so much stuff for the day accomplished that uh, I need to get done eventually, and I feel like I'm starting the day off on the right foot. Just like having that routine and creating my routine for myself, and then just creating like little wins that just set me up for success and set me up to be successful like just in the day and just allow me to accomplish my goals because I can't really bulk if I'm only having two meals a day. Um, I need to be breaking it up into three or four plus and uh, this is what's going to set me up to do it. So yeah, like I said, we're going to have some rice, chicken. I'll probably bring a couple Fairlife protein shakes as well. Well, it's a big ass thing of water because you have to make sure that you're drinking a fuck ton of water as well. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys at HQ. Alright, so we're at HQ. We just packed up a couple boxes to send out to potential ambassadors slash uh, just influencers. I kind of want to just clear out a lot of the product that we have in stock right now because we just did our end of year sale and we still have some stuff left. And we're just getting ready to make like a pivot with the way that we're taking the brand. So all the stuff that we still have right now, I'm just trying to find any excuse to send it out to people, spread the reach of GBT a bit more. But um, as of now, we're, we're eating some lunch. We got like a cup of rice, which is like 50 grams of carbs, six ounces of chicken, which is like what, 40 grams of protein. And then we got two fair lives, each 30 grams of protein, just a banana for some extra carbs. I don't know what this all adds up to. Like I, I'll make count of it and let y'all know. I would eat this around like an hour and a half to two hours at least prior to training, just so like I'm fully settled and like my stomach isn't bloated or I'm not. I, I don't feel like I have much inside of me when I go to deadlift because squat feeling bloated is one thing and it helps me, but to deadlift, I don't really like feeling like that so we're gonna have this digest it all and then we'll catch you guys at corrupted <laughs> all right y'all about to get this data session real quick we have a single it's like week two so i'll probably pull like 705 something like that not much else to it man i just took a scoop and a half of free because you're just talking just talking 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 and um i'm just itching out like a motherfucker right now man like i just feel like these static shocks all over my body i took the 110 tropical lime not the lemon lime that's my flavor but the tropical lime it's really good i'm not gonna say it's better than my lemon lime because obviously i'm biased but the tropical flavor or the tropical lime is a good flavor to pick up you guys can use code wheeze to save 10 percent if you guys shop with but yeah, I mean, try to get this demo session. I'm gonna just let Ant take over for the edit, whatever he wants to do, but we're about to run this bitch. It just like keeps up with blood, and like it's like a weekly thing. Like, it's full of blood again, and now it's like bad to burst. And it just it's painful because like I've torn it so many times that like there's not many layers of skin down here now. So like everything's just like ultra sensitive, and it fucking sucks. But I mean like what are you gonna do, my brother? Whatever. We'll strap up for the back downs. It's like chill sets of five or whatever, and then we'll just get out of here. <laughs> Keep out of burst too. Ah, son of a bitch. Whatever. Headphones fell off mid set. Had to raw dog the rest. It's whatever. So we're around. 300 carbs, 45 fats, and then around 250 protein. 
so far. I need to have a lot more carbs and then a little bit more fat, so I might have a little bit of ice cream. And then maybe some juice? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I gotta find something, a good source of carb that I can have that is gonna satiate me, but then also just be like a good source aside from everything else. So I'm gonna make this and then we'll kind of see where we're at, what we're feeling, and then we'll pick something based off that. All right, so I just got all this ground beef grounded right here. And I'm telling you guys right now, like I'm gonna show you guys how to fucking see in your ground beef because I was at McKendree University after the Corrupt Strength Classic with my friend Stephen Grant. And Grant was making me some ground beef and I swear to God his ground beef tasted like fucking water, man. Holy shit. I don't even think it was possible for ground beef to be that flavorless, but here we are. So yeah, just get yourself some salt. It has to be Korean salt or else you're actually fucked. So go to your Asian supermarket, get yourself some Korean salt, and then just spread that bitch all around. You're gonna have to taste test it too. Like you can't know if it has enough seasoning unless you taste it. So yeah, I got like three pinches of salt and just kind of sprinkled it everywhere. I might need more later, I'm not sure. But then we're gonna add some pepper after that. And uh, you don't need as much pepper. You just need like kind of, just a little bit, just to make sure that like, you gotta have that like taste of pepper just up in the mix. Doesn't have to be too, too crazy. Garlic powder, we're gonna need some garlic powder as well. Just get that bitch in, just get it on good. I always like to put a decent amount of garlic powder just to, just adds to that kick to it, you know what I'm saying? Ah, dude, the fucking grease just burnt my stomach. Holy shit. And so yeah, after the, we add the garlic powder, that's when we're gonna add this. I don't know what you got. This uh, this seasoning is called Smack Your Mama Creole Seasoning. And we're gonna add that. So I gotta rotate this bitch. Hold on. God damn it. So yeah. And then you can put a decent amount of this on as well. This is pretty damn good. That's really all it needs. Fuck, that might've been too much. Hold on, let me mix it up. Okay, so that's actually fucking perfect. I just turned the stove off and I'm just gonna, actually gonna move this. But um, perfect ground beef right there. 16 ounces. I'm only gonna eat like 12 of them. And then we're gonna reheat the rice. And then we'll have some, I don't know what we're gonna have later. Uh, it's just like, I hit my protein for the day and my fats are hella low. So like, it kind of gives me the excuse to eat a little bit dirty, even though maybe I might not necessarily want to. I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna sit. All right, so I, um, <laughs> I ate a bunch of other stuff last night that I'm gonna put all right here, and then I'll put the macros as well. But I just had a couple more snacks, and I had, had another meal full of um, like two cups of white rice, and then like three ounces of tuna with sea, uh, with ah damn with seaweed. Uh, yeah, I pretty much capped off my macros. I'll put my total macros for the end breakdown right here as to what I ended with. But aside from that, we're gonna wrap up the video right here. If you guys enjoyed this full day of eating i didn't i'm not gonna lie to you i hate doing full days of eating but i understand you guys like to know what i eat you guys want to know what like a power lifter is like putting in his body then i can make more stuff like this in the future if my diet changes or if i find anything new that's uh, exciting or could be helpful to you guys but yeah like i said i'm gonna wrap up the video right here if you guys enjoy the video please like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one